Salam sejahtera. My name is Wilma Kunyang Anak Gunto and I'm from class 8117 4B. For Malaysia agricultural communities, I choose palm oil. The agriculture, fishery and forestry sector employ broadly 10% of the Malaysian labor force and account for about 8% of the country GDP. Palm oil, rubber, cocoa and wood products account for around half of the output while other significant contributors include tropical fruits and rice. Malaysia is the world's second largest palm oil producer and exporter after Indonesia. Malaysia palm oil production accounted for 26% of world production and 34% of world export in 2020. As additional land for palm oil production is unavailable, any increase in national production at this point would have to come from yield and productivity increases. Malaysian palm oil companies also have a big presence in Indonesia and have invested in palm oil refineries in major markets such as Europe, India, China, and the United States. Many of Malaysia's largest and most successful company are palm oil plantation enterprises where the state hold and ownership share. Even though the United States has been a significant importer of Malaysian palm oil for the past several years, Malaysian palm industry representative can be highly critical of U.S. interests and policies. For the board or agency, I choose the Malaysian Palm Oil Board. Malaysian Palm Oil Board or MPOB is a premier government agency under the Ministry of Plantation Industry and Commodities entrusted to serve the country's oil palm industry. Its main role is to promote and develop national objectives, policies, and priorities for the well-being of Malaysian oil palm industry. The MPOB strategies First, expand and improve the current uses of oil palm products. Second, find new uses for the products. Third, improve production efficiency and quality of products. Fourth, optimize land utilization in oil palm areas. And the last one is promote the use, consumption, and marketability of oil palm. There are environmental factors or external factors that need to be considered before enter the international market. First one is competitor. First, we need to access the potential competitor to make an effective strategy for marketing. Second is natural forces. We need to consider the weather, climate, topography before enter the foreign market because this is affect the marketing activity in foreign markets. The last one is economics. Identify the per capita income of a foreign country. We need to select the country that has the potential to market the raw material at a high price to gain a profit. 